That's Captain Foca from Botes Juanitos in beautiful Ensenada, where the yellowtail bite has been red hot and continues that way here again today. That is Berenice Cardona Soto with some nice yellow she caught this morning and is still fishing and still seeing lots of yellowtail. Really great action, not only on the yellowtail, but Big Bonita. There's some barracuda around, sand and calico bass, but most of these guys are focused in on some very good yellowtail fishing with warm water in the Bahia de Ensenada. The yellows are biting for Foca and Berenice here this morning. We'll keep you in touch with the latest from Baja Norte and Ensenada where the yellows are chewing. <laughs> hey, good morning, my dear friends, and welcome to beautiful, foggy, kind of chilly Surfside, California, here in Southern California. It is so great to be with you all. Boy, we have got a lot to talk about, including our bluefin tuna. We've got some breaking news on the bluefin tuna, an update on exactly what is going on, because the bluefin have evaded us now for a long, long time, and it's starting to get a little bit dicey, and now the rumors are starting to fly all around, including a rumor about a bluefin tuna caught out of Newport Beach yesterday. Was that BS? I'll have that story for you. We'll find out what the Independence is up to, where she is, and what she is doing after our five-day trip where we caught no yellowtail and no bluefin tuna. Still had a really great time. Surf fishing still is alive here in the Southern California coast, and rock fishing abounding. And last night I had the pleasure to speak at the South Bay Anglers Club over in Torrance, California, and that was so nice to meet so many Nice and wonderful people. I had a great time over there, including, well, I, I got to say hi to a bunch of great people and see some old friends, including Steve, who brought some videotapes that I had made about sport fishing, including a nine-day trip on the searcher from 1991. He brought those as a gift, and we're going to put those up digitally here in the very near future. Steve, thanks for that. And then Keith and Christine, I hope you guys are watching this morning. Brand new anglers. Keith won the fishing rod last night. Man, it was perfect. Couldn't have happened to a better person and a guy who's going to get involved in the great sport of sport fishing and give him a reason to get up every, every single morning and get out and enjoy the great outdoors. Even when it's foggy, it's still kind of beautiful. Hey, you know what time it is. It's time for the morning briefing. Good Morning, my friends. Oh, my God, is that good. I hope you're enjoying a cup right along with me as I enjoy my time with you every single morning. Right after the morning briefing, you can watch the seminar I gave last night at the South Bay Angling Club. So stay tuned for that, all about how you can get involved in surf fishing. And of course, I did an independence update, but you're going to get that right now. But a great little seminar on how you can get involved in surf fishing, how to make it really easily, simplify it so you can come out here, catch some fish, spend very little money, an affordable alternative to fishing on the boats or somewhere else when maybe your budget is not as high as it should be or you've got six kids that you want to take fishing right here in the Southern California surf. You'll learn about that. Don't forget, hit that like button. Really appreciate it when you do that. Share these videos with a friend. Also. Don't forget to click the little bell and subscribe to Friedman Adventures right here on our YouTube channel. You can follow us on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, Spotify, and Apple Podcasts. Good morning to you all. Wow. Dude, we have a lot to talk about. We'll start south of the border in beautiful Ensenada. You saw the lead in, my friend Foca and Berenice. She was out yesterday. Berenice Soto. Uh, really doing well on the yellowtail yesterday. They've got an excellent bite going on in the Bahia, in the Bay of Ensenada, where San Diego sport boats are not allowed to go into, but they have had some outstanding fishing, no question about it. The reason why I think they're having that great fishing is because the water is warm in there. You can see the other day it was up to 62 degrees. You poke your nose outside of the bay, 
down the Baja coast or up north of there, and you start to find 57 degree water, and it's way too chilly for those little devils. So they have moved into the bay where some of the guys that come down at Campo Siete, great anglers who scale down the rocks to fish, will toss out iron or some other uh, bait, and they've been catching some big bonita and yellowtail. The pongueros, however, like Foca, has been all over. My friend over there at Blackfin Sport Fishing, Victor, has been all over him, and so have many of the other pongueros. Arnie Man has been on top of it. Talking to Louis Prieto from It's For Real Sport Fishing, thinking about going down there and shooting a video for you, catching some yellowtail. We've already shown you Louis's boat, so you can check that out. But once again, I'd like to get down there, take advantage of this bite right now. And it looks like there's going to be no wind like Tuesday, Wednesday when I'm thinking about crossing the border and going to beautiful Ensenada. So really great fishing going on down there. You might think about making that drive and jumping on this bite while it's hot. There's also been some flurries, not consistent, but a few flurries of barracuda. There's been some decent sand and calico bass fishing. That's what that 62 degree water is going to do. It's going to kick all that springtime fishing into gear and they've got that going on. So those big bonita mixed with it and then if all else fails, copious amounts of colorful and delicious eating rockfish. Nice bite in Ensenada, Baja California Norte. Hope you can get down there soon. Let's cross over here into beautiful Gringolandia into the United States and check it out. And of course, we're going to look at the bluefin tonight. You all know I was on a five-day trip on the Independence. Had a great time spending time with my son, Philip. The crew of the Independence couldn't have worked harder. Couldn't have been any better. The food was to die for. We had such a good time. But we came up with a goose egg on the bluefin and the yellowtail. Not for lack of effort. We worked our tails off. Well, I should say, Brian, the captain and the crew, worked their tails out, scouring going the distance, working so hard. And in the middle of all that, we were downstairs having an awful lot of fun and enjoying a great crew and birthday with my son, Philip. And well, you get the idea. We had fun, made the best of it. So now Young's Fishing Tackle is on board the Independence. Kevin, so nice to meet you the other day when we got in. And I have my fingers crossed that you guys are going to stumble across the mother load and get this season back on track again because that bluefin's been gone for, I don't know, what, two weeks? Something like that? Ten days? Two weeks? Somewhere in that vicinity. We haven't seen any bluefin tuna at all. It all started when we were having some exceptional good, really awesome bluefin tuna fishing on a lot of 100 plus pound fish. And it was going along so very well. Polaris Supreme with big scores. The Pacific Dawn with some great scores. The Tribute with some great scores. Several other guys in on it also. And then all of a sudden we got windy weather and we didn't get out for a week and we lost track of where the bluefin tuna were. Now we sent boats out. And we were one of the first, the Independence, and we scoured over 600 miles of the eastern Pacific looking for those bluefin tuna and came up with a goose egg. Incidentally, that Independence video dropped. I think you'll enjoy meeting Captain Brian Pfeiffer in that great video, so you can check that out also right now. Now, what's going on with the Independence right now? Of course, we were in Tuesday morning. They took off Tuesday morning to get out and start looking around. They first of all went out to the west, Mushroom Bank, uh, you know, over there towards San Clemente Island. They circumnavigated San Clemente Island. They scoured that whole zone, which we did not look at on our trip, and they have not stopped the boat, including up until right now, early this morning here on Thursday morning. They have not stopped the boat again, so they're working so hard, and I know they're pulling their hair out. It is really a difficult situation. My hat's off to how hard they are working. They have presently pushed down into Mexican waters where the spotter plane is going to go up and search that sector and see if he can't come up with anything. So Brian's thought process, at least I'm guessing, is I want to be somewhere near where that spotter plane is flying. So if he sees anything, we can point our bow to it and get on it in a hurry. So we'll see. Three times, the last three times, the spotter plane has been up. He has seen nothing. Zilch, which does make you... Uh, concerned let's put it that way very concerned about this bite so we'll see where we go from here I don't think it's the cooler water we do have 
cooler water this year because that bluefin tuna bit in the wintertime out there in December and January in the past several years. Water temp doesn't seem to affect them. They have the ability, the bluefin tuna that is, to regulate their blood flow and kind of m take care of their body temperature so when it's cold they can warm themselves up. The only tuna that can do that, you don't see that in yellowfin tuna, they get in cold water and they're out of here. Bluefin can survive in that cold water and feed in it and they can hang out in the warmer water. I don't think that's it. Some people are saying somebody should do a study on the effects of an eclipse on bluefin tuna. So by all means, do that study. That is another theory floating around. Another one is that we just lost track of them. We'll get on them here pretty soon. And guys that are pushing the panic button are saying, it's over with, man. They're gone, finally. We had such a good run, and now it's over. So I don't know what the answer is. We will find out as the days and weeks play out. And who knows, maybe in another five minutes, Brian will be all over those fish on the Independence, and we'll be saying, yeah, back on track again. So we'll see how it all plays out. But for right now, it has been very, very difficult. No question about it. All right, let's mount you over here. Let's mention to you that San Clemente Island was circumnavigated by the Independents, but they didn't go in there and fish, obviously. They're looking for big bluefin tuna. But the Amigo had six yellowtail there the other day. The Fury had some yellows also, so that's a good sign of life. The water's still pretty cold to get a good calico bass bite going on, but if you can pick a couple yellows like that and then fill up on the rockfish, which you most certainly can at Clemente, you're going to be in the driver's seat. So we'll watch that very, very closely for you all. The pursuit at Catalina Island yesterday, doing their thing as usual, working hard. They not only had 100 salmon groupers, so good Boccaccio fishing, but they had a mix of other rockfish on board, and they also ended up with, I think it was six halibut. Why don't I have that written down? Seven halibut. I do have it written down. They had a lake cod to go along with it. So nothing wrong with those kinds of scores. As the focus here in SoCal in general, from San Diego all the way up to the Channel Islands, is on rockfish. Colder water, those things bite really well, provide excellent table fare. Water's too cold for the barracuda and the calico bass to bite with any great consistency. You see that in Ensenada where it's cold everywhere and warm inside, and that's where the bite is taking place. So we need this water temp to get back up a little bit. Having said that, we do have some weather on the horizon. We're going to get rain on Saturday to a lesser degree on Sunday. Our windy day is going to be Saturday. Look like up in the Channel Islands, they're going to be fine. It's going to get a little breeze. It's going to be breeze here down in this neck of the woods, and that will make things more difficult on the guys out looking for tuna. Some windier weather offshore here on Saturday, so we'll be watching that for you also very, very closely. The point, however, with regard to water temp is that it will continue to push our water temperatures down. Cooler water as a result of all the wind. We'll see how that plays out. Endeavor, Tucker McCombs, Ventura Sport Fishing, limits on the bottom grabbers, four lings to go along with it. Outstanding fishing up there, out of Ventura, and room on the Friday trips on both the California, which is the full day trip, leaving in the early morning, out of Ventura, and on board the Island Spirit. And I did a live update with Daniel Hottaway just the other day, the captain of the Island Spirit. Sounds like they have a fun day planned for you on Friday. Weather looks like it's going to be beautiful. And the fishing up there in terms of the rockfish are getting better and better and better. 805-676-3474. Give Saul a call and get on board the Island Spirit or California or the Endeavor for that matter. Nice bite on the Coral Sea up there in Santa Barbara. Not only did they have copious amounts of rockfish with 21 anglers with 24 halibut. The halibut bite's still pretty darn good here so far this year. It has not been as wide open as it was earlier in the year, but it's still pretty darn good. On board the Pride out of 22nd Street Landing, they ran a day and a half trip, had three halibut, nine barracuda, and a bunch of rockfish to go along with that. Half, three quarter day boats from down there in San Diego, Oceanside, Dana Wharf, Long Beach, San Pedro, Marina del Rey Redondo, up in the Channel Islands, all getting really good rockfish. The Monte Carlo half day boat, big, beautiful, roomy boat out of 22nd Street with plenty of rockfish. The Enterprise had good fishing out of Pier Point Landing in Long Beach, California. In fact, they had limits of fish, and it's been good for just about everybody else up and down the Southern California coast. It is tax season. 
Give Tim Marquez a call before it's too late. A best income tax. Tim Marquez is a man who will go to bat for you and a guy that you can trust. And if you have heating and or air conditioning needs, you want to call John Lopez at Efficient Heating and Air Conditioning. John will take care of all of your needs. Don't forget, you can go back and watch two live remote updates we did. One with the El Patron, who is running Monday trips here very, very soon to Catalina Island, limited to 22 anglers is all, and it's going to be 125 bucks. And they also have room on their trip tomorrow going to Catalina Island out of Long Beach Sport Fishing. And also, I believe they have room on their Saturday trip. Chris Isaac, their captain, you can check him out. And once again, Daniel Hadawi on board the Island Spirit. We did a remote with them. And you can go back and watch the seminar I did last night with the great folks at the South Bay Anglers Club. That was a lot of fun. Here in the Southern California coast, we've seen some really good action. Water's cold, so the barred perch are still hanging out and biting pretty well. A little bit of Corvina, we need that water to warm up a little more, but you can pick off a nice Corvina. And don't forget Big Fish Bait and Tackle, right there on the corner of Seal Beach Boulevard and Pacific Coast Highway. They've got all the baits you'll need, and they're giving away a free custom rod every single month. Beautiful, like three, $400 rod for this month, the biggest Corvina. You drop by Big Fish Bait and Tackle, you pick up their ruler that they're selling, you measure your Corvina this month in the sand and inscribe the date in the sand and then take a photo and upload it to the Big Fish Bait and Tackle Instagram page and you're in the derby, baby. And man, there are some great prizes. That rod is absolutely gorgeous. Ask Glenn Saldivar, who won it from San Diego, California, and Honey Badger Bates. He did a great job with a 15.5 inch barred perch. Glenn's all over it. Great fisherman, great surf angler. Once again, I talk a lot about how you can catch fish in the surf. One small facet of how you can in that seminar I put out last night. There's also, here's some yellowfin croaker and pretty good halibut fishing as we are on a grunion run right now. And of course, as those grunion come up on the beach, you are going to see lots more predators follow them in here. Sharks, rays, the yellowfin croaker, corvina, you name it, halibut. They're going to move up here on the beaches, and that is all really, really good news. All right, my friends, whoa, we've got some really great Ensenada yellowtail fishing going on, and I've named some of the guys that you can go down there with and have an absolute great time with. So keep that in mind. That bite is going very, very well, and nice going, better Nice. That's some nice yellows you had yesterday. Our bluefin tuna guys are out scouring. We'll get more boats out this weekend so maybe the coverage will help and we'll be able to run these things down once again i'm hoping that the independence and their great crew and all the wonderful folks from young's fishing tackle and bellflower uh, are able to put a catch together we're praying for you guys hoping you're going to do really really well and of course the rock fishing here has been great ventura sport fishing offering some great rides for you you're going to want to take advantage of that. Don't forget you can fish with Freedman Adventures. Yours truly through the month of May. Three great trips. El Patron May 9th and the 23rd and we're up on the Island Spirit on the 31st of May. Text me. That's all you got to do. You can't make a reservation with the landing. You got to do it with me. Just send me a text. Tell me you want to go. We'll get you all set up and uh, see you on a great trip there at one of those great venues. And then we have a great Reverse two and a half day trip on the Apollo with a little bit of room left also and a couple of more trips this year and then that is all she wrote. So 657-227-6459. Send me a text. I'll get back to you. We'll take it from there. Get you signed up. Just a few spots left on those El Patron uh, uh, trips and a little bit of room on our Island Spirit uh, trip on May the 31st. Hey, Wishing you a wonderful day on this foggy morning. Man, I wish this would clear up maybe a little bit later today. It is going to be another gorgeous summer-like day. I'm hoping for that, and I'm hoping that that bluefin tuna gets located. I'll keep you in touch with all the latest. Don't forget, tick the bell so you're notified when there's new content. If that bluefin tuna bites, you'll be notified. Hey, there's an update at Freeman Adventures. Let's go check it out. Have a great one, and as always, I hope to see you really really soon.
Vegas, May 3rd, 4th, and 5th. Get ready for an adventure-packed weekend at the West Coast Outdoors Sport Fishing Expo. Taking place at the Ventura Fairgrounds, it's everything outdoors under the sun. Discover the latest in boats, explore thrilling charters, and dive into the world of RVs. Whether you're an avid angler or just love the great outdoors, there's something for everyone. For more information, visit sportfishingexpo.com.